I built this UFC betting AI agent that gets the current betting odds. It will then use historical data for both fighters and then it will overlap it with the latest news about the fight. And then what it does, it plugs all that information into this betting agent here and it will actually tell you based on reasoning, based on all the data that it's crunched on who you should bet on. So within a few days, there is a fight between Ilya Topuria and Charles Oliveira. So I plug this into my Telegram bot here and you can see that it's giving me a fight analysis. So it starts off with a fighter advantage, statistical highlights, and this is based off all the data that I put, plugged into the automation. It also gives me the betting odds and which bookmakers are giving me the best odds. And at the end, it will actually give me a recommendation. So this is recommending that I place a bet on Ilya Toporio based on the justifications and all the data and basically everything that's told me up to this point. And then it's giving me a performance trajectory, statistical edge, value at odds. And then the final recommendation is obviously a bet on Ilya Toporio to win this. To start off this automation, you're going to need the Telegram on message node. So if you go inside of here, you can see that it's connected to my Telegram bot, which is called Ava. And then the output was a string, which is Ilya Toporio versus Charles Oliveira. So the next step is I need to extract the last name just to make this a bit more robust when it's doing the searching for both fighters. So I've used the code node here and all this does is this will extract the last names. So this will be Topuria and Oliveira and it will create a new variable called fighter A and fighter B. And so when you run it, you'll see that it's created the variables with the correct last names. The next node is going to be a HTTP request node, which is this one here. So if you open it up, you want the get method and the API we're gonna call is this one here, which is the odds API. It's completely free. So head over to the oddsapi.com, grab your API key. They give you 500 free credits per month, which is more than enough for this automation. And so once we have all that data, it's gonna give us data for every single title fight, right? So what we're gonna do next is we wanna filter that data just for our bout, the bout that we're interested in. So bring up a filter node. And then for this, we've got a couple of conditions. The first one is the home team has to contain the name of fighter A, which is this one here. And then the away team has to contain the name of fighter B, which is Olivero. When you run it, it's gonna discard most of the items except for one if it's worked correctly, which is our title fight. The next step is to head over to superbase.com, sign up for a free account, and you wanna create a new project. So I've called mine UFC, and then inside of there, you wanna create a new table. So just call the table, whatever you wanna call it, doesn't really matter. And this is the data that we're gonna input in there as a CSV. So to get this historical data, you want to head over to Kaggle.com and look for the ultimate UFC data set. So this is historical data over the last four or five years. You could download a CSV. And to show you what this looks like, I've just uploaded an example inside of Google Sheets. This is effectively what you're gonna get. It's a bunch of fight data. Now, what's important about this automation is any empty rows like this, which any database would call null, is going to break the automation. So what we wanna do is we wanna remove these, any cell that has this. So if you head over back to the Superbase database, you wanna to go to the SQL editor here and then you just wanna run some code like this. So basically what this code does is it will identify any rows or columns that have null and it'll basically remove them, right? It will actually remove it from search. When you run it here, you'll see that it's success, no rows returned. And that means it's worked. Head back over to the automation and bring up a Superbase get many operation. Select the table name, which is UFC data in my instance, you're, you're gonna select the table for whatever you've called it. And then we just need some filters here, okay? So the must match is any filter. And then for the filters, we're gonna filter the red fighter and the blue fighter, but we have four instances. So for the red fighter, you want a string, the condition is full text, and the search is plain to TS query. And then the field value is going to be the last name of Top Warrior, which is fighter A. And then we do the same again, but this time we're gonna change the field value to fighter B, which is Olivera. And so that's the red fighter condition done. Now we need to move over to blue fighter, so it's exactly the same, except the field name is now Blue Fighter, and the field value is going to be Toporia, and exactly the same again, but this time we're gonna change it to Olivero. So when you run it, you'll see that it's basically returned a few items off the historical database, which matches our fighter data. And when you've done that, then what we need to do is we need to convert that into an array because we have 50 items here, which is obviously very difficult to work with. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a merged array which is just one object with a bunch of items. And the easiest way to explain this is think of an array as a table. It's literally a table of items. If I show you the table view, it probably makes more sense. So wait for this to finish. And you can see here that it's just literally one column, one row, 
and it's put it all in there. And so the next node is going to be a code node. And that's all that this code does. The last data source is going to be the muse. So bring up another HTTP request node. For this, the method is get, and then the URL is going to be newsapi.org. The endpoint is everything, and this is completely free. So head over to newsapi.org, grab your API key. And then what we need to do is we want to enable some query parameters. So the first one is Q for the keyword, and the value is going to be fighter A and fighter B and UFC. So what we're telling this node is we only want news articles or stories that have Topuria and Oliveira and UFC in the titles. And that just narrows it down. The next parameter is going to be sort by. And for this, I've just set it to popular based on you know views, likes, comments, etc. And then the last parameter is your API key. And then the value is just whatever you get from news API. So now that we have the news, we can then open up a, an OpenAI node and just connect it up to your OpenAI account. We're gonna use Forum Mini for this because it's completely fine, it's fast and it does a good job. And then for the actual prompt, I'm going to basically tell it to analyze the following news articles for sentiment and context, and that's just the articles. And then the fighters are, we're just gonna get the, the the fighter details from the first node here, which is going to be this variable here. Justify reasoning with key insights pulled from the articles. Just output the text, reasoning, and nothing else. So when you run that, you're going to see this here. If I switch it to JSON, probably a bit easier for you to see, but yeah, basically it's the analysis and context that I've asked it to do. And there's a bunch of text here. The final step of this automation is to take the three data sets and then merge it into a merge node. So we want to append it. We've got number of inputs, which is three, because we have three data sets. And then you can see here that we have three items and I want to convert it to one item because it's just easier to manipulate inside of the AI agent. So I've created another code node and all this does is, is basically going to convert it to an object, which is this on the right hand side here. And so once we have that, we can then plug all this information into the betting agent. So you want to attach an AI agent. The source for the prompt is below. So we're going to define the prompt. And so this section contains a detailed performance statistics from previous bouts from 2020 to present. The third section is sentiment analysis. So this is the now going to be the AI sentiment object. And this is from all the news that I pulled into the automation. So we're going to recommend which fighter appears to have the advantage, advise whether current betting odds are favorable enough to justify placing a bet, explain your reasoning, taking into account statistical performances, odds discrepancies, and overall sentiment. And then lastly, I've just added some additional fields, which is the pass mode because we're sending HTML. I want to make sure that it can read the HTML once it's side of Telegram. And if you want this automation, click on the link in the description, head over to the school community. I've got a classroom here with a bunch of resources that are going to help you. And the one that you want is the AI automations and blueprints. So click inside of this, you're going to find a bunch of blueprints for N8N. Also includes the tutorial video, includes the resources. So you just upload this file into N8N and any additional supporting files like Google Sheets. And we have a community of business owners, people who are not sure about how to use AI or they just want to create a side hustle. Come ahead, you know, join us inside of this group and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you love this video. Subscribe. Turn your notifications on and I'll see you next time.